Welcome to Us Crazy Christians, where we uncover Christian myths and Bible misinterpretations with common sense Christianity. I'm your host, William E. Smith, and today we're going to talk about wounds and regrets. Stick around. I was riding my bike on the lakefront, and I was thinking to myself that, man, if I ever get married again, she's going to have to enjoy this kind of thing because I enjoy riding my bike, just being around the water and being in the water and on the lakefront so much that my wife would have to enjoy the same kind of thing. And then it immediately occurred to me like, man, odds are that if I was to find a wife that was athletic like me and wanted to do the kind of things I like to do, she's probably more than likely going to be young. And if she's younger than me, chances are that she's going to want a child. And then I thought, damn, I don't want any more children. For many years, I've stated emphatically that I don't want any more children. My youngest child is 23 years old, and I knew when after he was born that I was done. It was a wrap. But for some reason, during this bike ride, I felt like God asked me a question. I felt like he said, William, why don't you want any more children? I stopped and I just stood there and, and I had to analyze myself. What came to me in that moment is what came to me every time I thought about having kids. I said, I know I'd be a much better parent than I was the first time. I'm a lot older now, I'm a lot wiser, I realize a lot of mistakes I made, so I'd be a much better father. And then right after that, a vision of my kids seeing me love my new child. And I would see my children questioning themselves like, why does dad love his new child more than he loved me? And that would crush me. And the truth is, is that I wouldn't love my new child more than I loved them. I was just so full of fear and anxiety and foolishness when they were born. I didn't know what I was doing. I was scared to death. Whereas now I wouldn't live in fear. I would live more in love. And I also didn't love myself back then. So I, because I didn't love myself, I didn't know how to love them properly. Even though I loved them with my whole heart, I would have gave my life for them. But I didn't know how to express it the right way. Whereas if I had a new child, I would most definitely know how to express it a lot better than I did before. And the idea that my children would see that and would question whether I love this child more than I love them destroyed me. And so I immediately shut down the idea that I would never have any more kids. I would never put my children through that hurt and wound again. I've already wounded them enough. No more of that. I kept thinking that it would be unfair to my children to do that. And then I believe God said to me, William, you should have more faith in your children. You should believe in their wisdom and their understanding more than you do. And I felt like God said, William, just like you counsel other people to not allow the past hurts pain, wounds, to affect the decisions you make for your future, you need to take your own advice, William. And that grabbed me. It was like a punch to the gut. In that moment, I began to have a paradigm shift. I began to see it differently. I felt like I had been set free in that moment. Everyone that knows me knows that I am adamant about never having any more kids. I mean, I make declarations, I say it out loud, hell to the no, I'm done, it's a wrap, blah, 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 blah. And I've been saying this for over 20 years. And all of a sudden, the other day, I have changed my mind. Something I thought I would never do. I was so 100% sure that I would never have any more kids that I went and got a vasectomy. And I realize right now that I made a life-altering decision based off of wounds and regrets. Now this is personal information. I'm only, I only share this because I'm hoping that I can help you to not make that same mistake. It might not be in the exact same area, but just any area where you allow past wounds and regrets to anchor the decisions for your future. That's a bad move. So today, after over 20 years, of being certain that I would never have any more kids. 
I feel that if I fall in love with a young lady and she wants to have children, that I'd be willing to give her some. And I've, I mean, it's not an end all be all. I've heard that there is a small percentage that I might be able to get the vasectomy reversed. But currently that's not even really a big deal. It's irrelevant because I'm not even dating anybody right now. But to think that I could have possibly ruined that for myself or for a woman that I may be in love with, made it to where I could not give her something that I would desperately want to give her if I'm in love with her and that she may desperately want, that could even make it to where I can't marry her because of that, based off of a foolish wound and regret of the past. I learned a valuable lesson a couple days ago. Better late than never. Think about the decisions and the choices you make in your life. Analyze yourself to be certain that you never allow insecurities, fears, wounds, and regrets to dictate the decisions you make for your life. Be sure to make the decisions for your future, for your today, for your tomorrow. Let them be based and rooted in love, joy, peace. Forgive yourself. Allow yourself to be free from the shackles of the past. Hope you can learn from my mistake. If you want to see more from us crazy Christians, do me a favor. Please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you're a returning guest and haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? It's free. Plus hit the notifications bell to be notified every time we post a new video. Hope this was a blessing to you. Thanks for watching us crazy Christians. Until next time, be blessed.